Welcome back to the second hour of our lecture for today. This is the seventh week, as we already are aware. We are talking about the fourth element of religion, and we try to differentiate, or rather to add to whatever that is important. And if you remember, I was talking about the supernatural power, uh, which marked the origin of religion. When people are fed up and could not find answer to their questions of life and beginning of Christianity. Now, I have to be sense, uh, sure, um, sincere to all of us that most people today will not be able to tell you exactly how Christianity, when it started, because they everybody find its own source and began to uh, uh, discuss. But if we look at our Bible, we discover how Christianity has been, where and when and how long it has been. Explaining the origin of the term religion, um, Madam and Mazuda says, these are two good scholars that also talks about that the term religion is derived from two root words such as leg, means together, caught or observe, and leg means to bind, to bind. Accordingly, religion is a belief in supernatural power or in ref it refers to the performance of practice and bind, which binds together or link human beliefs a being with the unseen superpower Religion is related to the mystery of human existence. So existence that we are existing must be connected with our religion. Without the, uh, uh, the Christ, without God creating us, how else do we exist? So let's continue uh, our lecture again with our PowerPoint as you listen to whatever we have to say concerning that. So religion is belief in God. In other words, religion is a human response to apprehensions of something of power which is supernatural and supersensory. It is the expressions of the manner and types of adjustment effective or affected by the people with their conceptions of the supernatural. Beliefs and rituals are two main components, part of religion. Beliefs are a chartered for rituals. Rituals consist in the observance according to a prescribed manner of certain actions designed to establish a liaison between the performing individual and the supernatural power. So religion involves a set of symbols uh, invoking feelings of reverence or awe or are linked to rituals practices by a community of believers. So community worshipping. And acting together is what we are dealing with. Now, the complex that like the religion as a, is a complex phenomena. It includes a complex of emotion. As I was saying, religion is a complex phenomena, which includes a complex emotions of feelings, and attitudes towards mystery and perplexities of life. But the meaning of religion is a strict sociological uh, sense in which uh, sense in much wider than that of the meaning used in religious book and scripture. In a secret sociological sense, religion is defined as the those institutionalized system of beliefs, symbols, values, and practice that provide groups of men with solutions to their questions of ultimate being 
Thus, religion comprises of symbols of attitude, beliefs, symbols which are based on the assumptions that certain kinds of social religious are sacred or morally imperative and a structure of activities governed or influenced by those system going and going and going you can have many kinds of definitions and elaborations of um, definitions of religion which people can think about but when you look at most people when they talk about religion component or basic elements of religion according to andrew uh, anderson and parker's religion mainly consists of a four primary component he was trying to bring number one he talks about beliefs in in supernatural power that is one of his own component or uh, the religious element and every religious belief in some supernatural power that is power our stand outside of man and the presence world. The supernatural power are believed to influence human life and condition. Man, number two, it talks about man adjustment to supernatural power. Remember the author, the person who says this is called Anderson and Parker, who they saw religion as... Um, component as believe in supernatural power one number two man's adjustment to supernatural power when you believe in power then you adjust means connected to the power in connection to the power it becomes a sense of worship a sense of acting together okay it is another component of religion a man is dependent on these supernatural power hence he must adjust himself to the powers. As a result, every religion provides for some external act or rituals, such as prayer, uh, ketans, utterances of hymns, etc. Uh, non performance of these rituals, regardless or regarded as sinful. So, um, I want to put it to you to know that people have different way of defining elements of religion. The number three of the, for Anderson and Hakas is that act defined as sinful. Now, remember the first one is saying identifying with superpower or supernatural power. And number two now clarified the issue of connection Two, because adapting or changing or also connecting to that power gives you the sense of what uh, ability or practical way of doing things. But it ended up at the word which it says failure to failure to act is a sin. So you now take that as the third point of what the component of what of religion. It means act defined as sinful it is another component of religion every religion defines such act as sacred and some others as sinful which supposed to destroy the harmonious relationship between man and god number four method of salvation i've talked about that in other place that the Religion today. Every kind of religions have their symbols and their rituals, which is a symbol or identification or the sign of what their salvation, being saved. In Christianity, when we believe in Christ, we are saved. We have our salvation. Accepting Jesus Christ is a key to your salvation. Baptism also qualifies, uh, added to. Your, your faith that is being seen in public as 
towards accepting Jesus Christ. Now, it is another component of religion. Man needs some me method by which he can attain salvation or by which harmony between man and God will re-establish. Now, the salvation we are talking about to others is that it brings or it shows a proof of connection between you and God. And because every religion considers salvation as the ultimate aim of life, but beside the above component, religion may have some other component which are as follows. It says what? Believe in some sacred things which we just discussed. And I can add more. And then he says, every religion believes believer on the sum of the sacred things which constitute the cons uh, constitute the con the center of religion, the sacred of or holy that uh, things are uh, symbols. But these beliefs based on faith. For example, cow is sacred for Hindu. So. In the Hinduism, without cow, then there is no symbol of holiness in your temple. The second one is that place of worship. It is another component of religion. Every religion has its own specific uh, procedure of worshiping. The following, the followers of religions worship, religion worship. Uh, religion worship the supernatural power either in the form or a status or in a formal uh, formless manner but let me bring you back to this more point talking about form symbols it's idol worship we don't have to get an idol uh, the symbol before we can worship the god the, the our god and then worship must not be only in the sanctuary, in the church, anywhere you can worship God. As long as your life, your connection with God is intact, you can worship God anywhere. But the next one is place of worship. Every religion has its own place of worship. Okay, we have talked about that. For example, Hindus worship like the Hindu in a temple. Okay, Hindu worship in a temple. Uh, Christian worship in a building, some in a hotel, a uh, big hall, some also in a tent, some under the tree, and some anywhere they find themselves. You may like, you may not like, but that is the truth about what we have been talking about, the component of salvation of peace uh, and also we're talking about how we can understand our problems and be able to maintain it so some will tell you there are four elements three elements some will tell you seven elements of uh, worship which is I've mentioned most of them and others will also tell you a different perspective of worship so coming back to this place, we say some religious traditions could be described as higher demand requiring strict adherence to rules and standard in order to maintain membership of the faith community. So today we have every church has its own faith, has its own rules and regulation that we ought to follow. When you follow that regulation, you'll be able to find exactly what you intend what you are willing to get permit me to say that some christianity <clears throat> some religion uh, rather rather have no basic of faith they believe on they only do what they think they do and they accept whatever they see and go on with life but when you go back to christianity we talk about faith faith is things that we don't even see we don't even understand how it behaves but we understand that certain things is happening and that things are real and will continue to be real. 
in, in life. Other traditions are low demand, adapting a more flexibility, a flexible approaches that or the requirement for belonging faithfully to the community. Now, in Christianity, accepting Christ is only the way. Okay? That is your faith. Some will be baptized to prove to the world, but some will never want to do that baptism of water. But it's important for us to understand the significance and the principle of baptism that our old generation have captured and have been maintaining it till days today. Are we different from them? No. But we need to understand what exactly it is all about. Let me take you back to what forms of faith commitment are expressions of religion as identity politics connected to who we are, that is, who we understand ourselves to be and how we live our lives. If I will say this, that the connection between religious and integrity politics can be a individual and intentional significance. For instance, empowered by belonging to a faith community, individuals can act in ways that they might not otherwise have done in isolation. Uh, in isolation could be a problem, but identifying ourselves could be both uh, good for individuals and for part of our lives to be seen. Okay? Part of our life to be seen and be connected to whereas we can find ourselves as being part of it. So, uh, in this part, we have always been talking about connection between religion and the identity. Okay? Identity politics which can individual and international significance. For instance, empower by belonging to faith community. Individual can act or uh, act in ways that they might not otherwise have done in reality. Okay? Uh, let's look at what Rose Park would have committed to us. Rose Park, an African-American woman who famously refused to obey American racial uh, segregation laws and pack, pack a, a nation-wide civil rights movement in 1960. Some of us are not born at that time, but Hannes is, is so many great things happen. But you see, the story and the history has taken us backward to be able to know. It's often loaded, loaded as a heroic individual. Heroic individual. Okay? This may be true, but as a member of religious community that affirms human dignity and the divine um, principle of radical equality. So she stood by um, dealing with what they call radical equality in Christianity. Now radical reality Radical reality in Christianity, my uh, equality, sorry, equality might be uh, what many people have been have been fighting for such kind of uh, issue, okay, where individuals to be able to have a right of its own to be able to function within. A society so 
these radical equality partially bring individuals closer to their own way of understanding uh, such a life of living. So gender equality also have been partially what people have been working about in order to bring uh, sanity within the the life itself okay and you can ask yourself what exactly is radical equality that has might been uh, involved many people have read books about radical equality uh, and then help you to understand exactly what it means inspired of love of reading with prince book box for kid discover the light for children book with prime everywhere uh, you can also uh, connect that with um, whatever you are talking about when it comes to the reality of uh, this issue now Rose Parker was never acting in isolation, according to Thomas. That Thomas, um, he, he was trying to explain what she said. This can be understood internationally, also as many, if not most, faith communities have a trans, uh, transnational membership. And some of these exact significance influence or on political issue varying from religion inspiration or religious inspired terrorist action against western value after all not all religion or religious politics is peace oriented to faith to fight collisions for environmental sustainability is the focus when it comes to such kind of uh, matter of religion we are expecting. So, so far we have seen <clears throat> what we are talking about here. And the four elements of religion... Uh, describes above that we have talked about uh, the significance of gods and spirits, the power of holy rituals, telling of sacred stories and belonging to faith communities seems in their own ways to be a core aspect of human or human condition in the 20 first century so it doesn't have anything much to do with the previous century but in the 21st century it's a kind of life that people now are living according to all this element uh, although many dimensions of the religious experience says can be politics free can be not it will be not it is going to be can be okay can be this proposing to be uh, can be politically free both historical and contemporary event reminds us that these Combine elements of religious religion can also be politics. Either politically impact on individual nations and international. As we are saying that Christianity and culture, we I talk about it as a ministry church and society that may most 
encouraging people today to be part of it. In Christianity and society, the element, how do Christians view and interact with the large culture surrounding them? We have talked about uh, those kind of things and also I've seen the four elements which we look at it in a very good way that can be able to enlarge and also help the society and the people involved. Remember in all that we are talking about is that the element or symbol or the icon are there sign as a spiritual area perspective of Christian uh, Christianity of sorry of religion. It could be whatever religion the people desire and turn it to be. They use it as their own rituals and symbols of their sincerity and faith. We believe in only one faith, which is faith in Jesus Christ, believing that He is the Son of God. He is that has come to die and give us life eternal. Jesus is the only way that we have to look up to. So, like I said in the beginning, or there before now, that although, although many dimensions of the religion experiences can be a political uh, fee, political practices, political uh, discussion, political uh, freedom. When we take Christianity serious, we can understand it in the same way that we could be able to uh, function right. Thank you for attending to this second hour of our lecture. Uh, even though it's not really easy, but I pray that we we'll continue to enjoy as we continue the next lesson in a short while. Take your time and see you next. Coming